Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mallory and I am the owner of Saucy Puff and Crafts. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a bunch of plushies that I made for my upcoming market. I know you guys really like videos like this. I personally like watching videos like this on TikTok, on YouTube, they're one of my favorites. I have been prepping for a market for probably three to four weeks right now. So I've had a lot of time. I did take a week off of crocheting just to kind of give my hands a break and just to kind of take a little bit of time to myself. But I have gotten a lot of stuff done. I want to show you guys some new things. There are some things that I'm going to be taking to the market that I've already shown you guys or stuff that didn't sell at my previous market. So I'm not going to show you that today. But I just want to focus on some of the Halloween stuff and some of the newer items that I have made over the last few weeks. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am past 5,000 subscribers, which is insane. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's a free way to help me out, help support my channel. And yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video and I will show you guys all of the plushies that I made. Let's start with a big one because this one <laughs> took me so long. I don't know, it probably took me five to six hours for this guy. You guys all know what this is. And if you see all the price tags, just ignore that. I do have everything priced and ready to go. But I love this one. I kind of wanted to keep it, but I don't know. I'm gonna bring it to the market and see if it sells. It's, it's so cool. I, I love this piece. I made a couple of these birds. Look how cute they are. This is one of my new favorite patterns. I love it. I made this one and a blue one that I will show you in a second. They're just so chunky. I love them. We'll see how they do at the market. Here is the blue one. I, I think I like this one the most, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to pick, but they're all so cute. I made a few more of these giant jellyfish. These are so cool, I love them. I always bring some sort of jellyfish to my markets. Jellyfish sell really well. Um, so if you guys are <laughs> looking for patterns that sell well, any jellyfish pattern will sell well, from my experience at least. I have a couple of these jumbo ones. So I have that one, the blue one, and this really pretty purple one. I have another one, I just can't find it in my pile of plushies right now, so we'll get to that in a second. I have a Squid Game Guard. I normally bring one of these to um, every market that I do holiday season because they sell really well. This is one of my patterns. I'm really proud of this pattern. I sold a bunch of these guys last year, so yeah, that will be linked down below. I have one of these for this market have a couple of these corn. How cute is this? I love these so much. I brought a corn to my last market and it sold like instantly. Obviously corn is like trending right now, which is really silly, but regardless, there's a little corn. I have two. I have this ladybug. I can't remember if I've shown this in a video before because it's been a while, but this ladybug has a little baby inside. It's adorable. So that will be coming to my market. I have brought it to a market before and it hasn't sold yet. It is a bigger, more expensive piece because of just how long this took. This took me like a couple days because I had to take breaks. We'll add this one to the pile. I have this giant spider. You guys, this is one of my favorite pieces that I've ever made. Look at how cute. Look at those little sparkly eyes. Oh my God. I'm tempted to keep this one. I still haven't decided. I have to decide tomorrow because tomorrow's my last day before the market. So we'll see, but I love him so much. <laughs> like, look at his little eyes. So cute. So of course we have some leggy froggies. I always bring these to markets. They sell really well. I have a bunch of different colors this time. I think I have like 20 of the small ones. And also a couple big ones. Look how big these are. Let me show you a comparison. So here's the size difference. They're so cute. I even have one that's smaller than this that will be in like, a, I have a mystery plushy bag thing. I know that sounds really weird. What I'm trying to say is I have these mystery bags with a plushie inside and I have like a smaller version of these in it and they're really, really cute. I'm gonna have to take a picture with like all three sizes because these are adorable. I love the big one. I think I need to make one for myself. I have a lemur. I haven't made a gray one before, so this is my first gray one. This is another one of my patterns. This one just came out not that long ago. So I have a gray one and I have a few other lemurs in different colors. I'm not going to show all of them right now because it's just like 
way too many. I can't show you guys like 200 plushies. But yeah, I am bringing a few of these to the market. I made this guy. This is a new make, a new pattern for me. Um, I haven't made this style axolotl before. I think it turned out really good. I do want to make another one. I just don't think I have time. So maybe in um, November for the November markets, I'll probably have more. But he turned out so cute. I really like this guy. Axolotls are always good sellers at markets for me, at least. I have a little Halloween ghost. Look at the little sparkly eyes. These eyes, not these exact eyes actually. I do have Halloween eyes available on my Etsy shop right now. Not these exact sparkle ones, but I do have these ghost eyes available in a multi-pack. So one big ghost and then I do have a ton of baby ghosts. At the last market that I went to, I brought maybe 10 of these guys and they sold out in like the first hour. So I'm making sure to stock up on these they're such a quick make. One of my friends um, actually made this pattern, Crochet with Babe. It's a free pattern on her Instagram. And I love them. They're so cute. So I think I have about 15 of these made so far. I am going to try and squeeze in a few more if I can. Because I do have all day tomorrow to crochet, which I will just get a couple more small things made. I also have a few baby candy corn. I did bring these to my last market, but I was just selling them blank and I sold a couple, but I wanted to add faces just to make them a little bit different. So I used some of my felt eyes for the little face and I think they're really cute. So I have like five or six of these. I have one bat left. This is a really pretty purple one. I like this one a lot. Actually, that's a lie. I do have another one somewhere. I have a mint one. So I have two bats that I'm bringing to this market. I'm trying not to bring too many like Halloween things because I don't want to get stuck with Halloween products <laughs> like after season because it's going to be a bit harder to sell them. Of course, I have some nugs because I'm always restocking nuggets all the time. Um, pretty much as quick as I'm making these, they're selling through Etsy. So I only have about five, I think, for this market. But yeah, these guys always sell. Same thing with my blueberries. These sell um, on my Etsy a lot. So I don't normally get as many restocked for the markets because they're just like selling so fast. But I do have a few that I'm bringing to this market. I think I have like four or five. And I have a couple baby jellyfish. I do have more in a bag, but I'll just show you these ones for now. I always bring these to the markets. They sell really well. And you guys have seen them a million times on like TikTok and Instagram, but they're just so cute. I love them. Oh, here's that other jellyfish that I was going to show you. I love these so much. I really want to make more. They are a bit time consuming, but they're worth it because they're just so cute. And I have a turtle for this market. I really like this color combo. I've never done this combo before. This is another one of my patterns. And normally I like to have a few at the markets. I just haven't had a chance. There's been so many things that I've wanted to make that I only have one turtle this time, but I will definitely stock up on these for my November markets. I have five markets in November and turtles are definitely a hot seller, especially for gifts. So I will be sure to stock up soon. That is pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna show you guys in this video. You guys can't see the mess. I mean, I guess you kind of can. I have these giant bins. I have so much product. But I wanted to show you some of the different things. Obviously, a lot of stuff I have duplicates of, which would be really boring just to show you like 20 of the same thing. I would love to know what you guys sell the most at market. What are your most popular products? Or if you don't sell and you're just here to watch the cute plushies, what was your favorite plushie of this video? Leave a comment down below so I can check that out. So stay tuned for more videos. I am seeing your guys' comments. I have a list of videos that I want to do some that are more business related. I want to do a video on my top tips for starting a crochet business if that's something you guys are interested in. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Live a life every day. Late at night. Not okay. All I want 
and I pray All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel weight Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mind